as I take this journey through life with only a very vague illusion of where I'm going and where I'll end up, I constantly try to make sense of who I am and what it is I'm trying to achieve. Unintentionally, I form daily routines leading me towards a slow lifestyle, waking up once my body is well slept, taking as long as I need each morning to collect my thoughts and plan for the day ahead. Listening to my body and following this slow morning routine each day brings me a great deal of peace. I feel calm, allowing me to collect my thoughts, feel grounded and feel a sense of belonging and purpose. However, when this routine is disrupted, my life begins to feel chaotic and I lose a sense of who I am and what it is I'm really working towards. I gradually form my slow routine since downsizing and living in my caravan home. My lifestyle is more affordable these days, which means I don't have to work as much to cover my cost of living, freeing up my time to do things I enjoy with those I love more often. This lifestyle encourages me to slow down, unwind and relax. By shortening my to-do list, my mind is free to notice and absorb the world around me, like the smell of blossoming flowers, listening to the bees buzzing in the trees, noticing the seasonal changes and getting to know the local wildlife. I work as a portrait photographer, capturing family and wedding portraits. I get to choose my work schedule by allocating particular days each week when I venture out to conduct shoots. I try to schedule all my work over two days and what I earn from one shoot is what I previously earned in an entire week working in hospitality. So I only really need to conduct one to two shoots each week to feel financial freedom. However, as the silly season approaches, the demand for wedding and family portraits increase. I'm tempted to accept more work than usual for the financial reward, which leaves me feeling overworked and stressed meeting other people's demands. In my opinion, a slow lifestyle takes care of your mind, body and spirit, balancing your fundamental needs as a human with the chaotic lifestyle the modern world brings. I don't feel it's necessarily moving your body slowly, but instead letting your body live how it wants to live, spontaneously and present in each moment. My message is slow living isn't a way of life you can practice at the flick of a switch. It's a unique lifestyle that needs constant evaluation to help balance the demands from the outside world. Every time I begin to feel overworked or stressed, I take this as a sign of a lesson I need to learn in order to improve my slow lifestyle and fulfill a personal need. Practicing letting my body lead the way rather than allowing my conscious mind and the outside world to lay down rules and restrictions around how I spend my time. My lesson at the moment is to no longer get more done but rather have less to do. To spend the rest of my days in a place so silent, working at a pace so slow, so I can hear, see and feel myself living. These videos I create each week give me a sense of belonging and purpose, and they feel like a self-care practice. I write scripts just like this while journaling each morning, and the topics usually stem from what's going on in my life at the time. They bring me back to my reality, remind me of what I value most amongst this chaotic world, or focus on the lesson I'm yet to learn. <laughs>